people and welcome to another math lesson with Mrs. Hayes. So we've done a lot of review work with fractions and decimals and now we're going to kind of move into our next concept which is how fractions and decimals are actually related. So we know that a fraction is a piece or a part of a whole and we know that we use a decimal number to represent a number that is less than a whole. So in that sense they're actually very similar. What we're going to talk about today is the most basic part of how fractions and decimals are related, and that's through the base 10 model. And we've talked about base 10 model before when we multiply by a number that is a 10, 100, 1,000, a 10,000, when we're using lots of our base 10 or our powers of 10. So when we're talking about place value, let's start from the thousands place. So we have our thousands place. The next place value after our thousands is our hundreds place. Then we have our tens place and our ones place. Now how we represent that a number is less than a whole is by using our decimal. And we know that when we're talking about our decimal, we call it and. Now how we can represent um, the decimal place values is by using a fraction because that represents a piece or a part of a whole. So for example, we can say that one tenth, which is the first place value after our decimal place, will be one over 10. We can say that one hundredth, which is the second place value after the decimal, could be one over 100. And we can say that the third, place value after the decimal, which is the thousandths place, could be one over 1,000. And I can actually see a pattern here. When we block off our one place and our decimal, we can see that we actually kind of have a symmetrical view. Our tens place in the whole value, our tenths place in the decimal value, our hundreds place in the whole value, our hundredths place in the decimal value our thousand place in the whole value, our thousandths place in the decimal value. Now, the cool thing about changing between decimals and fractions is that as long as we know how to say the decimal in word form, we're gonna know what kind of fraction we need to do. And I'm gonna give you some examples of that. So if we have a decimal like zero and six tenths, I know that it's six tenths because I say the number by itself and I say the place value of the last digit, which is, which is the tenths place. So this fraction is actually gonna be a six in the numerator and a 10 in the denominator. So zero and six tenths as a decimal is the same as six tenths or six over 10 as a fraction. If I have the number zero and 45 hundredths, I know it's, it going to be 100 in the denominator because I say the number by itself, 45, and then I say the last place value, hundredths. So that fraction is going to be 45 in the numerator and 100 in the denominator. Zero and 45 hundredths is the same as 45 hundredths or 45 over 100. If I have zero and 963 thousandths. I know that because I say the number by itself, 963, and then I say the last place value, thousandths. That means that I'm gonna have 963 in my numerator. And since I said thousandths, I'm gonna have a thousand in the denominator. And if you use a calculator, it's actually kind of cool. Because our fractions are also division, which we could write like this, six divided by 10, 45 divided by 100, 963 divided by 1000. If you put those numbers into a calculator, it will actually give you these decimal places. Now let's try some trickier numbers when we're converting between fractions and decimals. So if I have zero and three hundredths, I know that it's three hundredths because I said the number by itself three and the last place value is the hundredths place. 
That means I'm going to have three. And then since I said hundredths, 100 will be in the denominator. That would go the same if I had zero and three thousandths, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. That fraction is going to be three in the numerator and one thousand in the denominator. If I had zero and three tenths, I know that it's in the tenths place because it's the first place value over the decimal. I'm going to have three with the denominator of ten. Now we can do the same thing by going from fractions to decimals. So let's try that. So I know that I'm going to have the number 45. And this is telling me that the last digit has to be in the thousandths place. So I'm going to try to write the decimal. Does that work? Let's check. 45 thousandths is the same as, say the number by itself, say the category, 45 hundredths. Uh-oh. It looks like I have to put a, a place value holder in the tenths place to make this the decimal that I want. Let's try again. Say the number by itself, say the category. 45 thousandths is the same as zero and 45 thousandths. So be really careful that your last digit is ending up in the proper place value. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is what if you have a whole number in your decimal, like 45 and six hundredths. So to write this as a fraction, you're going to keep the whole number exactly how it is. And then you just write the decimal place as a fraction. So it looks like we have a six in the numerator and the place value that that six is in is the tenths, hundredths. So I'm going to put a 100 in the denominator. Take your time on your math quizzes and make sure that if you're not understanding this concept, you rewatch it again.